Michael Valentino from Crusader Caravans in Campbellfield, Victoria. Today we've had a second-hand caravan arrive. Um, this guy is a Musketeer Treville, it's a 2020 model. The customers unfortunately had to retire for their caravanning adventures, so we've taken the pleasure of being able to take it off their hands and put it back into someone else's. So this guy here has been left with a heap of gear on it, level ride kit included, trailer made jack, and a heap of stuff that's inside the caravan. Whether you'd like it or not, it's completely up to you, but the customers have gone ahead and left everything that they would have used for caravanning and camping inside the tunnel boot. She's pretty full. We haven't spent a lot of time detailing it just yet. We've just chucked her on the lot to want to get her back on the road as soon as we possibly can. This guy is available for immediate delivery. Needs a good clean, needs a good quality control. It'll be service checked, of course, before it leaves the lot. Still under warranty, 2020 Musketeer Treville. So before we go inside, I'm going to show you all the stuff we love on the outside. So just as you can expect from the 2020 Scal uh, the Musketeer range. It's a 450 MPA graded steel, three millimeter steel chassis, six inch A-frame all the way back to the wheels with sub supporting uh, 12 inch substructure. We've got a semi recess coupling with an Alco 50 mil ball. We have our um, Anderson plug for charging. We have another Anderson and we have our 12 pin plug. So the guys have actually separated their fridge into an independent uh, Anderson plug. We have a camera wiring monitor just there. So it comes with a monitor, of course. Handbrake from Alco. The guys here have kept their jockey wheel but upgraded to a trailer mate pump jack. That's an extra $400 that they've gone ahead and privately spent on that. Breakaway unit that's independently charged so there's no need for an independent monitor or a battery charging system. Two D shackles. We've got a weight distribution hitch. So this guy here is going to level the car and caravan net as you tow, pulls the bars up. That'll be supplied upon pickup. We've got two nine kilo gas bottles, full upon pickup, of course. We have this safety chain brake line ran through this um, piece of cross member here on the A-frame. We have a water tap on the A-frame, self spirit level. We're doing pretty good one way, not too good the other. We've got high rise checker plate with fully insulated composite paneling. So just like as you can expect from the new 2021 and 22 models with Crusader, it's a 32 millimeter fully insulated foam roof, fully insulated foam floor. So we've got side cladding panel here for the Musketeer Treville, side clearance lights all the way through and thousand by 800 windows for in the bedroom, 154 by 550 windows there in the kitchen and um, lounge either side. This guy comes with an awning. So despite all the new caravans being really hard to get, this guy has already got his awning attached. It's also got draft skirt pins. So that comes included with a full draft skirt set up. Uh, again, another 500 bucks worth of um, aftermarket installations. Gas bayonet there underneath the A-frame. We have our drop-down legs, all four stabilizer legs, of course. J-mold. So really, just look at the silicon work. It's really quite unused. These guys might have used it, I think, maybe, honestly, maybe 3,000 Ks, if that. During COVID, it was locked down. They've now had to retire from caravanning. <laughs> so feast your eyes. This guy's a treasure trove. It's got literally everything. It's got your water, your power. It's got chocks, it's got, um, it's got your levelers, it's got a ball weight scale, it's got everything in it. Like this thing is absolutely chock-a-block loaded. And despite what you may think, no ice creams in here. I think even still, we've got D-shackles, hoops, locks, everything. As I said, it comes with everything. Um, I, I don't really have room at the garage. My wife won't let me keep it there. So I figure you may as well take him home. It's got locks, it's got water filters, it's got jockey wheels, it's got hoses, solid hoses, absolutely everything. Now what's important as well is the weight. So obviously the weight of this caravan is just at 2230. Obviously it's loaded right now, so we can't give you an accurate weight of what it is because it's got a heap of gear ready for takeoff. Full through tunnel boot on this side. So that is the exact same size tunnel boot as you can expect in this guy here. Just to give you an idea, we didn't want to empty it and put it all back in for a photo opportunity. So this guy here is what you can expect when he's empty. 16 foot awning. So when you're outside, the most annoying thing is obviously we need full block out. So there's a full pin down block out and side block outs. They're included underneath the bed in this unit, as well as a draft skirt. This is fully kitted out for inside and outside entertainment. These guys were avid and loved caravanners. We've got outside vents, annex lights there, of course, center support there for the awning. So these guys have optioned that up. Picnic table here on the outside, as well as outside TV hutch. So you can pop your TV there. You've got each or, back, uh, each, each or bracket to choose from, as well as aerial points, 12 volt socket, and double power point there as well. Checker plate mud guard all the way across with a 15 inch 235 roller rocker suspension caravan. So that's on a uh, 3.2 ton roller rocker suspension. So a three ton vehicle is more than capable. If you've got a little bit more, then you can enjoy a little bit more payload. 15 inch 235 wheels and tires with a 10 inch brake. Primal wheels and tire by Terrazzo. Now, of course, six inch A-frame. The A-frame here is running A-frame meets chassis. It's a 12 inch substructure all the way through. Um, there's a heap to love about this as far as construction ability. Outside speakers, Bluetooth, of course. 
crimp safe door mesh as well as outside bargman handle. So first touch is blue, second touch is bright light, and then it fires on the little step light there on the inside there as well. Drop down step, again a little bit dusty, needs a bit of a clean. Door of course, tri-lock door, black on the outside, really well finished off, not a mark in sight. 16 foot awning, of course, all the way across. We've got a pole holder here on the back. I imagine it's filled with poles. I haven't dared to look. There's a fair bit of stuff in this little guy. Yep, Andy Flap Kits Roof Raft is another $800 worth of aftermarket installs. Bumper across, spare wheel with tire cover, rear view safety day camera with a few spider webs. We've got rear clearance lights there on the back. It's of course including your 12 months registration. Toilet, so it's, uh, it's a CTS 4110. So that's a Dometic ceramic toilet as well as cassette. We've got a gray water tank here on the back with cleaning system, mains pressure water fillers, um, and we've got our two water tanks underneath there at 95 litres and two nine kilo gas bottles. 28 litre stainless steel hot water service. We've got our Dometic vents with roof vents up here for hot air um, excapsulant um, up there at the top. You've got checker plate wheel arches all the way across, another filler cap. We've got one 105 amp AGM deep cycle battery there mounted on the exterior of the caravan. Um, Radio antenna up here, TV antenna on the side, as well as power inlet from Clipsal and circuit breaker there on the outside as well. Again, you've got your amphibian boxes, you've got your 10 pegs. I don't think they're coming with it. They might find their way into my house. Um, we've got a battery, we've got MDF plugs. I don't know guys, there's a heap of stuff. Also as well, just in here is a tick cushion. So if you want to be able to drop the table down, that's a little cushion to drop it all down. These deck chairs, there's everything. The guys had one, one shot to get everything out of the van. They had to pick it up um, after a, a situation uh, at the dealership and we just let him go and there was, everything was left in it where they couldn't get in the car. So we've decided we're gonna hang on to him. Making our way through guys, again, A-frame all across, fully insulated comp roof, needs a good wash. Make our way inside the van. So inside the van, just as you can expect from the Musketeer Treville, um, you've got a full entry cupboard system. Full entry cupboards, of course. One, two, three, and four. They've had a bit of turmeric in there by the smells of it. We've got wireless outside lighting and inside lighting as well here on the outside. You've got water pump controls from the PM200 system, as well as load on, load off systems there as well. You've got entry pantry here. Now inside this van, there's about 45 TVs. The guy's obviously a TV lover. We've got a massive 32 inch in the bedroom. We've got a 24 inch just by the lounge. His and hers, no arguments, no fighting. Very much in love, this couple. We've got a club lounge all the way through, as well as a Nuva Mapper table all the way through. So of course that drops down if need be into a sleeping arrangement. We've got wraparound club lounge. We've got our quad lock systems on our windows, as well as just for the people who are interstate and can't have a bit of a fiddle, it goes one, two for midi proof screens. One, two, three, four, open and click. Let it go. You've got reading lights with USBs underneath on all areas of those windows. So there's a heap of chargeability in this. We've got our radio, our PM200, our external speaker switches, gas hot water and wireless lighting system up there. That guy there's all your solar, MPPT solar controllers, everything. Um, as far as our cooking space, we've got our microwave up above, so there's no plate in this microwave. We have our uh, oven, pretty much never been used that at all. Recess cooktop. We have our cooktop here. Again, absolutely Mickey Mouse, needs a good wipe over, but she's fine. We've still got paper inside of the uh, griller there, so not used. Um, we have our light and range hood. Double power point, of course, mounted to the roof. We have our touch lighting there as well underneath the working cross. We have our sink, like as you would expect, a few hanging hooks, a little glove. We have a stove switch, double power points either end. Um, in the bedroom area, we've got two reading lights as well as double power point and 12 volt cigarette sockets either side there as well. We've got full hanging, and we've also got a massive amount of storage all the way back there. Sirocco fan to be able to get a little bit of warm air moving at night. As far as storage, we've got a pull-out pantry here, guys. A cupboard filled with every bit and pieces, even an electric can opener, loaded. We've also got every bit of cutlery you could possibly want. I can't promise you they've never been used, but nothing a good wash won't hurt for a bit of tong action. We've got some plates, of course, as well as cups. Still in pretty good nick, can't argue with that. And I think we've got a few strainers, jugs, and, you know, just some general pots and pans.
these guys bought these especially for the caravan. So they haven't really used them. They've still got ones at home. So they're like, you know what? Someone else can hang on to it. Saves them running around and trying to get lightweight stuff. So these guys are about, they've been caravanning for about 20 years. So for them, a lot of this stuff is really good. And they bought new stuff for the new van. Um, paper towel dispenser, of course. Never thought I'd have to do that in a demo video. We have a 186 litre uh, Dometic three-way fridge. So it's an RUA uh, 6806 fridge. This guy here has wire shelving, crisper drawer there, of course. She's in well good nick. Like she hasn't really been, um, she hasn't really been hurt at all. She's she's almost brand new. As I said, it's only really a few months old, this van. Um, and we were so lucky to be able to take it off their hands. He did buy from us, so we have an excellent relationship with him. Sliding door. So this guy just pops up. And as soon as it comes across, well, you might have put another locking device on this. Ooh, might have to have a look at that later. That just comes all the way across and locks across. Looks like he's put another locking device here. We also have our shower. Uh, he was a little bit taller, so obviously he's put a little bit of a shower head here for himself. Whether you like it or not, we can have a play. We've got a caddy in here. We've got our soap strainer. We've also got our flick mixer tap with an anti-slip mat there on the floor and lock here as well. Our fan has a suck in, suck out fan option as well as lighting system there as well. Our toilet is a Dometic CTS 4100, so it's a ceramic bowl with flush system on top. Toilet roll holder, toilet roll dispenser, toilet brush. I probably wouldn't be keeping that. We've also got our shower carrier bag. So all the manuals and everything, of course, are included with this. Our flick mixer tap here in the ensuite, full length mirror, touch light, as well as um, a few wires and bits and pieces up here. Overhead cupboards, fans in and out, like so. But as far as condition, guys, she needs a bit of a clean. She needs some love. We only just got it. We've had caravan shows left and right. We just know that the buyers are out there. They're looking for a caravan. We want to be able to make sure that we don't miss that opportunity of markets so of people don't buy or necessarily stray away from Crusader because of the extended lead times. We've got this van. It's available to go. There's not a dent on her. There's nothing wrong with her. She's ready to roll. It's just that the guys had to retire from the caravan adventures, had a bit on. We've decided it'd be an awesome idea to be able to take our brand back to our own house. And they were more than willing to be able to do that with us. So this one is available today. The 5th of May, 2021 for delivery. It's not gonna last long. We can put it on a truck, we can put it on a boat. I can't put it on a plane. There's not many of those hanging around. To be able to get to you, we can do a virtual handover, whatever you like. Give us a call on 03 9359 2938. Head to our website for more of this sort of stuff, www.crusadercaravansmelbourne.com.au. Send me an email at michael at crusadermelbourne.com. No AU, just .com. Alternatively, like and subscribe for more. Hopefully we see you on the road. Hopefully we're able to sell you this one nice and quick. See you later, guys. Whoa.